Chile is currently facing a growing health epidemic. There's been an explosion in new HIV cases. According to the latest United Nations AIDS study, about 70,000 Chileans are living with the virus. That puts Chile among the top 10 countries in the world that has seen the highest increase in new HIV cases. I see you, Ura. It has been tough because even with the support of my family, the society rejects me. Joshua Pinto is living with HIV, and he told me that his experience has been anything but easy. Yes, you always come now, but yeah. Yes, unfortunately, it has always been related to misinformation. They don't understand the topic. Joshua went on to tell me that we have to continue having conversations and educating people in order to end the taboo that surrounds the topic of HIV here in Chile. Here in Chile, people prefer to not to talk about it because if, if you don't talk about it, that doesn't exist. But there is one organization called CEDIS that is talking about HIV, tackling the subject head on. They held a seminar on Thursday. This event takes place every year to talk about HIV awareness and prevention. And as you can see, there's a lot of young people who decided to come out today. And the reason why is because this year's focus is on how HIV has affected the youth living here in Chile. HIV policy is mostly made among very old people. They are specialists, they are epidemiologists, and they don't really listen, they don't really even ask young people, how do you feel about, about HIV? How do you feel about the campaigns? What type of campaign do you think is going to be most effective? Francisca Meado decided to come to this event because the topic of HIV hits close to home for her. She told me she used to have a friend who was living with the virus. We worked a lot together. And he will always get sick and tired. And then he found out that he was getting weak because he had HIV. Though the Chilean government hands out 17 million condoms a year, there are many people who believe the government still isn't doing enough. In Chile, we've had many years of opposition to sexual education. Sex education only became mandatory in 2010, and that's just for high schools. Now, policymakers are trying to figure out how they can lower the rate of HIV infections. For CT News, I'm Anthony Hill, Santiago, Chile.